Caribbean people tend to face a lot of natural disasters from flooding to storms to most recently volcanic eruptions. Add that to a pandemic that shows no signs of receding and you can end up with populations who are mentally exhausted and are having difficulty coping. In light of this, the leader of one Caribbean conglomerate is calling on businesses to provide mental health assistance to their employees. Speaking during the Boca Slit Festival, virtual panel Anthony McCall Chief Executive Officer Anthony N. Sabga says more needs to be done to address mental health issues. Sabga says this should be done in a formal setting. Are there ways that maybe the telecoms could provide this and then you know, there are call centers where you know, social workers who are trained in this regard because I hear what you're saying, you know, um, you know, Dr. Well, Justin, we could, you know, we could provide that support amongst ourselves to who we know and who we care for. But sometimes this thing needs a, a learned mind that could extract what needs to be, you know, proficiently extracted and be able to direct and, and treat accordingly. Mr. Sabga says the Anson McCall Group provides this service free of charge to its thousands of employees. But Professor John Agard, who was also on the panel, says many Caribbean countries and businesses have these policies in place but never implement them. He blames bad leadership. My main point is really and truly we have to go to action and enforce policies and enforce laws and stuff. Not leave it is that you can do it if you want because that is really not yeah. what's not working. Also weighing in on the issue was economist Dr. Justin Ram, who said he believes the most efficient way to tackle the issue is with a public-private partnership. As he said, private companies seem to tackle these issues better.